This just cracks me up, and as usual, links down below. You're not going to believe this, I suppose, so you'll have to look it up. Um, Friday Night with Barry Manilow. Fort Lupton, Colorado. Violators of the noise ordinance there are being sentenced to one hour of listening to music by Barry Manilow, Captain and Tamil, and all of your old-time favorites. The music nights have happened four times a year since 1996, and the recidivism, recidivism rate is only 10%. Subjected to Barry Manilow if you violate the noise ordinance. I thought the United States had an Eighth Amendment. Unusual punishment. What could these people be thinking? With my friends. Another favorite. Dress in drag, take a walk. Jason Householder, age 23, and John Stockcom, 21, were sentenced in 2001 in Ohio to dress in women's clothing and wear long-haired wigs and walk the main street in Chuckton, Ohio for an hour because they had thrown beer bottles at a woman's car. The sentence was cut short when somebody drove past them and hit one of them with a thrown bottle. <sighs> Parading a donkey through town. Jessica Lane and Brian Patrick, both 19, were sentenced in 2003 in Ohio to walk a donkey through their town before serving a 45-day sentence for defacing a statue of baby Jesus. Walk a donkey through town? I would do that for free. I wouldn't even have to deface a statue of baby Jesus. Jeremy Paul Olson, a.k.a. Jeremy Bobel, was sentenced in 2010 to community service and banned from the Mall of Americas in Minnesota f for an entire year because he threw tomatoes at then-Governor Sarah Palin. Why, for the love of all the gods, wasn't he given a medal? Juan Corona was sentenced to 26 consecutive life terms in prison because he was found guilty of murdering in one single year 25 migrant workers. I have to ask you, Juan, why didn't you murder rich people? <sighs> Not to be outdone. Bobby Joe Long of Florida was sentenced to 28 life sentences plus 99 years after that plus one death sentence talk about really having a bad day for raping 50 women and murdering quote more than 20 of them unquote they don't have a real precise number of how many people he murdered. More than 20? And finally, not to be outdone, a crime much worse than mass serial murder. Mail carrier Gabriel March Grandos, age 21, was sentenced to 384,912 years in prison, later reduced to 7,109 years in prison for the terrible crime of not delivering 42,000 pieces of mail entrusted to him. I say, just turn the dogs on him. <laughs>